Yeah, I, I believe that Christ's suffering uh, and the demonstration of the kind of, um, of physiologic stress that his human body was under uh, is manifested in the Garden of Gethsemane, where it's described that he was sweating blood. And there are there is a well-documented uh, medical condition in which patients who are under tremendous amount of uh, emotional stress and physiological stress can in fact uh, sweat blood because little blood vessels within the glands burst and, the, and then the blood is expressed. The, the, the scourge involved the use of a, a short whip with pieces of uh, typically metal, sometimes bone, sometimes pieces of porcelain wrapped in these leather straps, which is then utilized to, to come across uh, typically the back, the shoulders, the legs of the victim. Uh, and uh, the first few passes across a particular body part would tear through the skin, the fat, uh, but eventually, once the outer layers were, were uh, torn away, it would start getting in the muscle and the tendon. And of course, along the way, you're ripping through all the blood vessels that supply all those tissues. And so you're losing blood the whole time. The plant that was described um, uh, actually had a very long thorn, um, not the little thorns that we would think from a rose bush. These were thorns that were uh, typically an inch and a half to two inches in length. The scalp is one of the most vascular portions of our body. It's got a huge blood supply up there. So then having those thorns shoved down into the, you know, down onto the bony plate would have gone through all the scalp which in and of itself would have created a huge amount of blood loss. Uh, I've seen people actually bleed to death from just a scalp injury. So uh, this is not a small injury to have, uh, who knows, dozens uh, of these things shoved into your scalp. And so that would have caused more blood loss. Typically when a victim has to uh, uh, carry the cross, what has been described uh, in the literature, in, in actual Roman literature, is they, they describe, the, the, they, they carry the crossbar. Uh, and the crossbar is estimated, alone, was estimated to weigh about 110 pounds. And of course, if your arms are stuck out here, wrapped up on the cross, crossbar, and you fall down, you need help getting up. You, you, you just can't get up on your own because there's no possible way without your arms to get up. So he would have needed help getting up. If he, fall, if he fell over, there's a good chance that he could have hit his chest, which, which then could account for the possibility of a cardiac injury. Anatomically, we consider the wrists as part of the hand. And so uh, with the placement of the nails between the radius and the ulna, at that position, it, it still fits, fits the definition of being in the hand and it's in a position in which the nail won't rip out, which you have to have, you have, to have a solid point of fixation. Uh, another interesting point about the placement of that is the median nerve goes right straight through that particular uh, 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 portion of the wrist. And so there would have been uh, either destruction of the nerve or, or impingement of the nerve that would have created a tremendous amount of pain so that every time you try to take a breath, you'd be, it'd be agonizing. You'd be pushing down on spiked feet which of course hurt, and then you'd be hanging on spiked arms. And so you alternate from excruciating pain to excruciating pain every time you take a breath. So, so even if he survives the actual crucifixion, he would have had to survive what I believe to be a, a, a lethal injury from the spear just to find out whether he was alive or not. What's described is the loss of water and blood and that would entail either the, the uh, uh, either a pleural effusion or pericardial effusion, and the blood would have come from either pulmonary artery, a pulmonary vein, the aorta or vena cava, or the heart itself. None of those injuries, unless you're treated immediately by a trauma surgeon like myself, with all the advanced equipment that we have, would be survivable after even a few minutes. Christ, as the Son of God, could have survived anything. He chose to manifest himself as a human at that point in time and allowed himself to die. And, and being human at that point in time, he could not have survived this particular series of traumas. It's not possible. Um, 
Christ as God could have survived anything they threw at him. And, but he chose to be Christ, the human, at that point in time to die for our sins. And that given that, that self-limitation of remaining to be human, he died. He did not survive the event. I, uh, I'm profoundly impacted by it. Because I realized you know, the price that he paid was something I'm not. I would be, never be willing to do for probably anybody. It's very difficult for me to even sing songs about the cross, even in worship. Because I truly do understand what he paid, the price that he paid.